Hey, Guomi, it's Ethan. And Morgan. Today we'll be bringing you announcements, weather, sports, and more. And GPA TV starts right now. Well done. Three, five, four, three, two. Attention all high school students that are 15 years and older. Rancho Guajome Adobe is having a Rancho Christmas and can help you learn lots of community service hours. The event will have tractor drawn wagon rides, Native American storytelling, Christmas caroling, and ballet folklorico performances. It is on a Saturday, November 24th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So sign up in the library if you are interested. That sounds interesting. I want to go. I want to learn that folklorico dance. Me too. Seems interesting. Now let's watch Bella Bowman's news story on school lunches. You wait anxiously in your seat during fourth period for the lunch bell to ring so you can finally sit down with friends, relax, chat, and most especially, eat. School lunches provide a majority of Guahomey students' lunch. I want to explore what students think should be in a lunch and what our school nutritionist has to say about a healthy lunch. Let's talk about school lunches. So my name is Greg Breen. I'm the Director of Business Services here at Guahomey Schools. I oversee our Child Nutrition Services Program, so that's CNS or basically our kitchen. I work very closely with uh, Patsy, who I'm sure a lot of you know, in the kitchen. Uh, so she is uh, essentially our kitchen manager, um, but I help her with whatever support is required to, uh, to maintain a smooth operation with the kitchen. The school lunches are prepared in, in our kitchen here locally, but a lot of the food comes uh, pre-packaged uh, so that we have uh, various vendors that we work with. U.S. Foods, that's, that's one that probably a lot of people are familiar with. We actually partner with uh, a third party. Uh, they're a consulting group that actually helps us with all of the uh, nutritional values and making sure that we meet uh, all regulatory requirements for nutritional values of our food. Uh, so they help us set our menu. They help us uh, make sure on that menu that the items that we're selecting have the right calorie content, the right fat. Lunch is so important, so critical because uh, every child should have uh, the nutrition they require in order to concentrate, in order to be active, in order to um, basically have that fuel they need to uh, do well in school. Uh, lunch is important because I feel like our brain could, like we need food for our brain. Pretty important because if you don't eat lunch then you're just going to be hungry during class and then you're not going to be able to focus. Like right now I have math after this, after lunch. If I don't eat then I probably won't pay attention to math and then I'll make my grades drop and I'll just feel that light. I think that you should but I don't think it's bad if you miss it. I don't think it's that important. That's, I feel like it's really important because it does get you like through the day. I think lunch is really, really important. You need to eat or you're not going to be able to pay attention in class. I can like choose what I want to eat and I don't have to buy it here. Yeah. Um, and I'm also vegetarian so like I don't like I have I know what I want to eat. Lunch is a whole 30 minutes of each school day meant to give our brains a break as well as our stomachs. Through these interviews we see how vital lunch is in a school day as well as what we eat during it. I encourage Guahomey students to ensure that they are getting a healthy intake of nutritional foods during lunch even if it means simply bringing your own food from home. I'm Bella Bowman. Now back to the studio. I wish our lunches looked like those noodles. Great job, Bella. Let's listen to the sports updates with Nick Pira.
What's poppin' my go homie homies? It's your boy Nick coming at you with your school sports report. First up, we got boys basketball. The team is looking for a team manager to do the scorebook for JV and a film guy or girl to film their games. Please see Mr. Mormon for more information. Next up, we got girls basketball. The team is looking for a team manager to do the scorebook and a film guy or girl to film all the girls basketball games. Also, Guahomi Athletics are looking for students who are interested in singing the national anthem at our home sporting events. If you're interested, see Mr. Mormon in the Lower Wellness Center. Lastly, the boys soccer team has its first home game of the year against High Tech High North County on Friday, November 16th at 315 at the Vista Sports Park. Come support the boys soccer team. I've been Nick with your sports. Now back to the studio. Now let's watch a Would You Rather with Natalie Dominguez. Hey go homie, it's Natalie, and today I'll be asking people would you rather questions. Let's get started. I'm here with... Alan Anastasio. Alan, would you rather use sandpaper as toilet paper or vinegar as eye drops? I would use sandpaper. Why? Because I can use, just flip it around and I can still not use the, <laughs> go to the bathroom with the other side of the paper. I'm here with... Natalia. Natalia, would you rather have no elbows or no knees? Oh, um... I think <laughs> no elbows. Why? <laughs> um, I you just slap people maybe, I don't know. Knee, no, no knees would be weird, like, yeah. Yeah. I'm here with? Jesus. Jesus, would you rather have long fingers or long toes? Um, long fingers. Why? To grab stuff better. I'm here with? Jason. Jason, would you rather have long neck or long feet? Long neck. Why? Because then I could be like a giraffe. Here with? Timothy. Timothy, would you rather be three feet tall or eight feet tall? Eight feet tall. Why? So I can reach the top shelf. With? Would you rather be invisible or be able to fly? Be able to fly. Why? Because you know I could just go anywhere, pop in. I'm here with? Michael. Juan. Would you guys rather be completely bald or completely hairy? I'd rather be bald. I'd rather be hairy. Why? Because I can just get haircuts. I don't know, I just want to be bald. Okay. I'm here with... Lorenzo. Lorenzo, would you rather never smell again or never taste again? Rather never smell again because cause I like eating tortas and tamales and they taste very, very good. I'm here with Michael. Michael, would you rather sneeze cheese or cry chocolate? I'd rather cry chocolate. Why? I don't know. It seems kind of cool. Cry chocolate. And this has been Would You Rather with Natalie from GPA TV. Now back to the studio. Great job, Natalie. Yeah, but I want to do those Would You Rather games. They're really Two. cool. Let's hear a new story by Adriana Gonzalez where the students talk about their ringtones. Ringtones go all the way back to when the 1870s came out with the very first phone. They've been used every day, from the old telephones to digital cell phones today. We hear all kinds of ringtones. Some say your ringtone can tell a lot about you. Let's see what people around here have as their ringtone. And I'm here with... Alexa Holly, Susie, Tyler S. Ray, Austin. So Alexa, what's your ringtone? Can you tell us? Uh, my ringtone is actually a Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them theme. So Susie, tell me, what is your ringtone? Um, it's just the opening default one, the regular one. So Austin, what's your ringtone? It's the cricket ringtone. So Tyler, tell me, what's your ringtone? Uh, it's this one right here on my phone. What do you think that ringtone says about you? That this is the ringtone that came with the theme that I chose for my phone. Um, that I'm too lazy to change it. <laughs> I don't like to be bothered a lot. That 
I like uh, stories and I have like, I love fantasy. Cool, thank you. What we've learned today is that ringtones can show the variety of personalities in people. Now, next time you hear a ringtone from a friend, family, acquaintance, think about the ringtone and why they chose it. This has been Adriana Gonzalez reporting for GPA TV. Great news story, Adriana. What's your ringtone? Uh, I think it's like rap song. I think. That seems interesting. That's all for today, go homie. It's been Ethan. And Morgan. Oh wait, have a great Thanksgiving break. Signing out.